Hey, welcome back to the channel. So a few days ago, I did a video on running Sonoma on this 2012 MacBook Pro. And in that video, I asked if anybody wanted me to do a tutorial on how to install it. So that's what this is. I have a older one that's running Ventura, so it's about time to update that anyway. So this is gonna be how to install Sonoma on a 2012 MacBook Pro using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Let's jump right into this. We are on the Mac desktop. And the first thing we need to do is go out to the OpenCore Legacy Patcher site. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to see that. Once you're there, we're just going to click on the getting started and download and build the macOS installer. Now, there's a whole set of instructions in this document, and that's basically what we're going to be doing in this video. So if you want to go out there and see that instead of watching this video, that's totally fine. Um, we're just going to be going through all these instructions uh, in video format. So let's go ahead and click on the releases. And we're just going to find the most recent one, which uh, at the time of this video is 1.2.1. .1. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. And what we want to download is the zip file. This package file is going to be grabbed by the installer itself. So we'll get the zip file. And it should download and automatically unzip. If it doesn't unzip for you, just double click on it and it should extract it. So we'll give that a minute to download here. Okay, so that file is downloaded and extracted. We can just go ahead and run it. It's probably gonna ask us for our password here. We haven't opened this before, so we gotta click open. So this is the open core legacy patcher uh, main menu. And the first thing we need to do is create the Mac OS installer. So we're gonna click on that and then click on to the download Mac OS installer. It's gonna go and find all the available sources and the source that we want is this Mac OS 14.1.2. That's the newest version of Sonoma. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. All right, so now the download is done and we just have to wait for this validation step to take place. And then it should uh, prompt us for our password and we'll be able to continue on with this install. All right, so we're gonna put in the password. All right, so after a super long wait, it is finally ready to install. So we wanna go ahead and create the Mac OS installer. So we're gonna click yes. And then we're gonna select the Sonoma 14.1. And then now we are just going to take our thumb drive and stick it into the computer. So hopefully it'll recognize that. Let's go ahead and search again. So that is the USB drive that we just put in. It's labeled install Mac OS Sonoma because obviously I've done this before. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. And it's asking her for sure we want to wipe it out. Go ahead and hit yes and put in the password again. So now we just wait again. Uh, this is going to take a little while to uh, build the installer. What it's doing is it's taking that installer that we downloaded in the previous steps, writing it to the thumb drive. And then what we'll do after that is we'll install the open core components onto that thumb drive so that we can boot and finally install this on our internal SSD. So I'm going to let this run because it's going to take a little while and then uh, I'll come back and we'll continue on. All right. So there we go. That's finally done. And it's actually the next day that took so long. I gave up waiting for it. So that part takes a really long time. Just, just be patient with it, but you'll get there. So now that it's uh, it written that to the thumb drive, it's asking us if we want to install uh, open core on this, we're going to hit yes. And we're going to install it to disk. And then we're gonna make sure that we select our thumb drive. We don't want to install it on the internal drive just yet. We wanna do it on that thumb drive because we still have to boot from this and install it. So let's go ahead and click that. We're gonna click the EFI partition that's on that drive. Put in our password once again. And it's asking us now if we wanna reboot. So I'm going to reboot here and then I'm going to have to switch to my camera uh, once this is rebooted because I can't do a, a screen capture. So uh, you're going to see a little loss in quality here, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. There's no other way I can capture it starting out. So we're going to reboot and then I'll show you how to pick the option so we can install Sonoma on our internal drive. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that we need to hold down the option key 
when we're restarting. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just holding down the option key and you can see that we have uh, options to choose from here. We're gonna go ahead and select the yellow install Mac OS Sonoma, select that. All right, it's kind of good this happened because I've seen this before. Sometimes that initial writing to the thumb drive doesn't work and you have to reboot and do it again. So let's do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and restart. And we'll log back in. Okay, so we're back on the desktop. I'm just gonna go ahead and move myself out of the way here for a second. And we're gonna go to our downloads here. And then we're gonna go into open core patcher again. Okay, so we're back at the main menu and we're gonna go ahead and build and install open core. We're gonna do this once again. We're gonna install to disk. And then again, we're gonna select our thumb drive here and we're gonna select the EFI, put in our password again. Now it's really weird because I haven't seen this happen every time I install this. I'm gonna ignore this for now, um, but I have seen it happen enough that I don't know what causes it, why sometimes it works the first time and sometimes you have to install it again on there. But now that we have it installed, I'm just gonna come in and go to restart again and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue on with the installation now. Okay, again, holding down the option key. All right, this is looking better now. So actually what we need to do is we need to go over to the EFI boot and we're gonna select the option that has the open core logo with the little yellow hard drive and we're gonna select this. Now, once we're on here, we're just gonna go over to install Mac OS Sonoma. So select that one. And this should bring us into the normal Mac OS installer. So let's give this a sec here and hopefully this boots up and we can uh, format the drive and then continue on with this process. Okay, so here we are at the installer menu and I'm gonna go down to disk utility. So what I'm doing here is I am gonna wipe out this drive and install Mac OS on it. Now, if you want to um, install this on a different drive. You just need to open up the back of your uh, MacBook, take out the existing drive and put the new drive in, and then you can keep the other one as a backup. I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, go all in and just wipe this out. So we're gonna select this drive, and then I'm just gonna go to Erase. Now make sure you have your internal drive selected, because if you don't, you may wipe out a drive that you don't intend to. Make sure you have the internal drive that you wanna wipe out selected. Now I'm just gonna leave this, I'm gonna change this to something like Mac OS. I'm gonna leave it APFS and I'm going to erase that. All right, now we're done there and we can close this down. And then we're just gonna go to install Mac OS Sonoma. Continue. And we're gonna do continue again. All right, you can read this if you want, but I am just gonna click agree, agree again. And then we're gonna select the drive that we formatted and hit continue. Now this is gonna go ahead and install it just like you would any other Mac OS installation. And when it's done, we're gonna reboot and we're gonna boot off of that USB drive again, because even though this is installing Sonoma, it's not installing the patches that we need to boot this up. So we're gonna let this run and then I'll come back when it's done and uh, we'll continue on with the process. We're almost there, so hang in there. Uh, next step will get us all squared away and we'll be able to boot our computer from the hard drive in Sonoma. All right, so that install is all done. Now you gotta be patient because it's gonna restart uh, by itself a few times, just let it go and eventually you will get to the setup. So we're just gonna go and put some of our information in here. All right, now we're just gonna wait a second. We are on the desktop, but we still have to install uh, open core on the internal hard drive and also install the post install patches. So we can see this, uh, we have this background item added for the open core patcher. So it should pop up in a second. Yep. So here we, it says open core legacy patcher has detected that you're booting from open core USB stick or external drive. So we're going to go ahead and click okay here because this is what's going to allow us to install it on the internal drive. So it's building for us, but I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to return to the main menu. So I went back here because I wanna do some extra options and I'll talk about this in a second. If we go to settings, we can see 
this show open core boot picker. Now what this will do is it'll show a boot picker every time you restart your computer and you'll have to select it or wait for it to time out before it boots into Mac OS. It's kind of annoying. If you want to leave it there for troubleshooting, that's totally fine, but I usually take this off. That way it just boots into Sonoma just like it would on any other supported Mac. So we're going to go ahead and return and now we're going to do the build and install. And we're going to install it to the disk. So this time it's a little different. We're going to install it to our internal drive instead of the thumb drive because obviously we already have it. So for, in my case, this is this PNY drive, 240 gig. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the EFI partition and just let it install. I'll put the password in since it is on the internal drive. Okay, so now we could reboot and boot into macOS from the hard drive, but I wanna do one more thing. I'm gonna ignore this for a second, return to the main menu. So what I wanna do is install the post install root patch. We're gonna click here and if everything's installed, it'll say uh, everything's installed, you don't need to do anything. But in this case, it's showing that the root volume was last patched on December 2nd, 2023 and there are available patches. So we're gonna start the root patching and this is having us relaunch as root. So we'll have to put in our password. Now, if it says that everything was installed, obviously you don't have to do anything and then you can just restart your system. So you can see it's got some patching for the uh, graphics card and the wireless adapter. I did see so that some people were having trouble with their wireless adapter in Sonoma. So hopefully this will fix it. I personally didn't see any issues. Okay, so we are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and reboot. Yes, I'm sure. And what we're gonna do is just take out our USB thumb drive because we will not need that to boot now because we've installed open core on the EFI partition of the internal hard drive. So it should just boot right into Mac OS here. Okay, and here we are at the login menu. If uh, we put in, or login screen, go ahead and put in my password. It'll bring us to our Sonoma desktop and we're good to go at that point. The open core is installed on the internal hard drive so we don't have to boot from the USB drive anymore. And we should get our desktop background here in a second. While that's finishing up, I'm gonna go to About Mac and show you, there it is, that we are again on the uh, 2.5 gigahertz 2012 MacBook Pro with the 4000 uh, HD graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, and we are on Sonoma 14.1.2. Now, we were booting off the USB drive when I installed the post root patches, so I wanna make sure that we have all the patches installed. So I'm just gonna go out to applications and we should have open core in here. There it is, open core patcher. I'm gonna launch that and I just wanna do the post install root patches again, just to make sure that we have everything on this system. And as you can see, this says all applicable patches are already installed. So we're good to go and uh, we're fully installed and ready to use Sonoma to our heart's content. Hopefully you found this video useful or informative. Uh, I also have a 2015 MacBook Pro. I'm gonna be doing a video on that, but this install process is exactly the same for that machine as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comments section below. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so it lets you know when I put up a new one. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.